what is up youtube it's your boy big blue bug back with another episode of whatever this game's called i can't think of it right now but it's in the title let's jump right into it so we got the merchant in trouble then we have crossroads we could use these just to skip the turn but i want to help the merchant in trouble might result in a fight okay you see a merchant uh during a shakedown with some thugs so we could defend the merchant and it gives us a skill a skills the cards we get to play or we could try and get some more florence i think we're gonna defend them so if we defend them and win the fight i believe we still end up getting we get exp and we get some money so let's see if we defend them uh if we get a fight you approach the scene and address the thugs brandishing your steel if you're looking for trouble you found it it doesn't take long for them it doesn't take them long to excuse themselves thank you strangers i've never seen those brutes before uh where are those sodding guards when you need them i tell you please take something from my wares nice deal 10 damage if target dies gain two stamina that's a good card especially later when we start using uh a lot of cards and getting a lot of stamina we might go with that we're going with that what am i saying when it's not we might go with that we're going with that so we got crossroads all the way across it doesn't matter we're just gonna hit the middle one so looks like we got ourselves into another fight so i believe this on the right means it's a hard fight so we're just gonna stick with the one in the middle i don't want anything harder than absolutely necessary cool so we got two of these little beaver guys two little beaver enforcers and then a big enforcer so right off the bat, we got this card. I don't think we're going to be able... We are. Ooh, wait a second. This is huge. Yeah, because we'll be able to use that into that because he has four stamina. Let's do it. And give me back two mana. Nice. Are both of you... You're both attacking the same guy. So what I think we're going to have to do... Yeah, is guard him because he's going to end up taking a lot of damage here. And we'll go for the attack lead on this bottom guy. He's going to end up taking a little bit of damage, which is fine. He took five. Okay. As long as he doesn't take five again, we're good. So this one's attacking my bottom guy. So I think we start by... He has three bleed on him. I think a normal strike will knock him out. It will. Okay, so that knocks him out. So now let's go ahead and try and apply some bleed to this top guy. Nice. We'll go for another attack. We'll switch up to him, and then we get this weapon damage. That's going to be huge. And he's out, I believe. He should be out, too. Let's go, baby. We love to see it. We love to see it. You emerge victorious after four rounds. Let's go. Let's grab ourselves a new card. Um, I love this card. I love the tight formation. Each character in your rank, each character in our row, gains eight armor, and it's only a two cost. Our normal armor gains are one cost for five armor. This one, since all of our characters always stay in the same row, you end up getting essentially a one cost is eight armor so it's just it's just so much more efficient than like a normal guard okay so we got a knife merchant a high spirits and occultist wares um i think we're gonna go with the high spirits it offers us uh high spirits gives us vigor oh uh, the next time this character loses stamina it is refunded and vigor is removed Eh, that's actually not that great, but you know what? That's probably what we're going with. I don't I don't want to spend my money. So we don't want to spend our Florence. We uh, at the end of the cave before like a big fight, we have a uh, something. We have a chance to buy a person. We we'll get a chance to improve uh buy cards or we could investigate some overzealous guards. It's definitely going to be a fight. I think we hit the altar actually. Choose a character for plus 15 max vitality. Oh, that's huge. Max. 
I think we're going to go with the little guy because the bear gets a lot of armor bonuses in the future. But, oh my goodness, I do not regret making that decision. Okay, we got another fight. We're going to go right down the middle. Prepare for combat. Oh, baby, I'm prepared. Okay, so right off the bat, we got the uh, deal five damage and apply it to the whole rank. So that's what we're going to hit them with. So, right off the bat, they're all split. Everyone's getting dealt 13 damage. You have 10. So we're going to try and get him some more armor. And we'll do that by using this ability. First, let's start by hitting them all with this. Nice. Now, you know, we might even be able to knock this guy out, actually. I think we are going to be able to knock him out. Oh, man, we got the crit. Let's go. That was actually massive. So now we're going to... Oh, man. Oh, it's because of the overwhelm. I didn't even really think about it, honestly. Okay, so now we both got a solid amount of armor. He'll swing for five. Does he bleed? No. Just does five. That's easy. That's easy peasy stuff here. And if that one card draws, they are in a row, so that's big. So we're going to end up using all this anyways. But I think we... 16. 12. 13, 14, 15. We're going for... It's, oh, it's 20... 22. 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. I think that's 23 damage, right? Is my math right? We're going to trip. We're going to go for it. And I'll give him one more stamina. Good news. I did the math right. So that should get him. Okay, but who are you attacking? You're attacking him. We'll hit him with a hit him with the normal armor. We'll hit with him with an armor. And turn. I think that'll get him. Yes. Let's go. Okay, now we got this guy in the front. So it is his turn. Ooh, we got a kick. And you got four. So actually we're gonna have you kick. And the reason I'm having him kick is because I want him to use both. Act. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did that right. Okay. I, I questioned it for a second. That will give us both armor. Okay, yeah. Then the turn there. He doesn't get to go. Now it's going to bump back to him. Now we got to go again. And let's hit him with the execute. Oh, man. We are doing so well this run. Just so you guys know, I played... Yeah, I think six hours today. And this is my best run I've had yet. I wasn't recording earlier on because I was trying to get a... Uh... This is massive. I do like this too. I like being able to move around people if I want so they don't get to go at the same time. But this feels bigger. Uh, yeah, so maybe it is that they're leveling up. But yeah, earlier I was playing and I lost like three rounds in a row like with nothing. Okay, what do we got here? So these are perks. Passives. Choose a passive. So they last over the whole time. So we got Overwhelm. Uh, whenever this character forcefully moves an enemy, we're not doing that. Uh, at the at turn end, if three or more enemies are intended to attack this character, gain one. Hmm, it's not bad. Gain rage whenever an ally dies. No, we do not want to bank on allies dying. I think we're going to go with this just because. <sighs> yeah, we're going to go with this. I just don't. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's a good move. I don't think they gave us a good card there, but maybe they'll give us better for the bear. So what do we got here? We got start the uh, start each combat with two will. Meh. Uh, all blood applied to this, all bleed applied to this character is converted to poison instead. Meh. Whenever this character gains armor plus five. Oh, that then. Because he's always gaining armor. 
Yeah, see, that's what I mean. That's an ability that my other guy wouldn't get. That's why I gave my other guy the health and not the bear. Give my little mouse the health. So we got hide. We got sanctuary. We're pretty good on health. Denver's a little low, but he should be fine. We're going to go with the uh, sage for a modify the deck. You approach the ancient figure who looks older than the knocked wood walking, than the knotted wood walking stick he leans on. Aw, oh, he's cute though. Isn't he kind of cute though? Come on. So we got remove a card. No. Reroll a talent. I don't think we have any talent. So we're going to go gain a skill. It's going to cost us 100 floor. 100, uh, whatever, gold. I'll deal five damage, apply two, and one bleed. Ooh, I like that. I think we're going to go with this. I don't really like this skill. And this skill is kind of meh. It costs zero, which is nice. But, like, you almost never actually get someone to die off of three damage. So we're going to go with that. So we got hide, crossroads, crossroads. Uh, this card from each other lane. Oh, yeah. So this just, like, the turn just progresses. We're just going to. It doesn't really matter. Whatever. So we got Smithy Tavern. So see, this is why I wanted to save money. We got the tavern here. So we're going to go buy ourselves a friend. This is massive. I would have loved the weasel, if we're being honest. Okay, so we got uh, our boy here. Uh, we got Yanning. He comes with a medium armor. Uh, moves slash swaps opponent to target position, and it does 10 damage. Uh, double this character's armor. That's his talent. Okay. And what about the other one? We got uh, 40. Are they both the same vitality? They're both the same vitality. Wait. Are they both the same? Wait, they're both the same, right? Am I am I mistaking? Okay, we'll just hire him. Cool, welcome to the team. No, it was a different one. It just wasn't show. I don't know. I swear I clicked it both ways. I don't know. We're just going to stick with that. He'll do the job. So we got the hideout. Enter the hideout. A safe house. Uh, you and your fellow loyalists slip through here into the sh next street. So we got a wall, a wall. Just so you know, I think it's a fight. We got a henchman. We got a henchman. And then we got, it's a trap. You're awaiting brothers slain. A few a few elite enders uh, triumphantly brandish their weapons in the dim light. All the exits are covered. There's, there's one way out through them. Let's go. So what we're going to try and do here is make sure that Denver doesn't die. That's that's the big part. We're, I think we're going to win. We just want to make sure Denver doesn't die. This. Oh, just starting with this is awesome. Okay, so who are we attacking? Middle, middle, middle. Okay, and that's for how much? 22. So they're not going to get through his armor. And this one's attacking for 10 and a bleed. But you can't calculate in the bleed. Okay, so... I think we swing. I just like going bottom up. I don't know why. But that's just how I play. And I think, actually, you know what we could do? None of you are attacked, too. We're going to flip and kick this guy out. Just to, just to you know, get him out of the way. Okay, first we're going to start with weapon damage. 12. He's going to do both these because they're both weapon damage based. And he has the best weapon. He's the only opponent in the lane. So we did a bunch there. Go for the bleed. What we're going to have you do is kick him back. So now both of you are just attacking one of them. Uh, he doesn't have much armor, so we're going to give him a guard. And it doesn't really matter who strikes. We'll just strike. End turn. Okay, so he... We're going to try and get him out this time. Yeah, they're both going to bleed, and the bleed does go direct to their vitality. It doesn't hit their armor. That's the... Yeah, see... Go straight to vitality. Okay, so this... See, now we get this. And this would have been better, obviously, if he was in the same row. But that's what he's going to do. Cool. So we're going to hit this in the front row. Uh, I don't really think it matters who does it. Who are you attacking? So you're going to attack him. So actually... No, yeah, you can do this. We'll just have you in the front row. It's fine. Uh, we're going to have him use armor. 
just so he's a little bit safer. We'll switch to you. Have you go for strikes on my lower guy here. Nice, nice, nice. And with the normal... That did it. Cool. And we'll apply three poison to this guy. End the turn. We'll go for a strike on him. It's fine. He blew up our armor, but what you gonna do? So he's gaining fury, so he does get stronger every turn. We do need to be careful of that. Uh, okay, so who are you attacking? Everyone! Okay, so we're gonna have him right off the bat. This character loses half of their vitality. Apply that amount as heart to another ally. What? That seems terrible. So we won't ever probably be using that skill, honestly. That's just not a good idea. Okay, so now everyone's safe. So now what we're gonna do is go for some bleeds on my boy over here. And you're gonna go for a nice, heavy, heavy overhand strike on him. Nice. So he's out probably next turn. And we're not even gonna touch this. This is, this is ridiculous. A mat deal 20 damage so someone else can heal over the next like six turn, over the next, I guess, 20 turns. It's just not a good idea, honestly. I would argue it's a bad idea, actually. Okay, so I think... Who are you going for? You're going for our little mouse guy in the middle. Okay, so right off the bat, I think you just go ahead and knock him out. You know what? No, 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 no. We'll get another turn. I don't... Actually, yeah, yeah, this ability's fine. We can, we can use that on him, because that... I didn't see that armor. Wow, okay, mistakes were made, guys. If we're being honest, mistakes were made. Ah, uh, that's gonna... He's gonna do, oh wait, he's not gonna get through. He's doing nine damage. Is it, does it involve bleeds? No, 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 he's just doing nine. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. But I did mess up there, just so you guys know. I should have just gone for the bow tap. I forgot he has uh, some fury on him. But yeah, we should have just freaking gone for the uh, vitality damage. Okay, so that row is going. I don't know if I can move him when he's like this. I'm gonna try it and see if it actually does what I want it to do. Is it gonna let me? It does. Okay, so he actually skips his turn here. That's great. And we get to do the uh, attack from the front. Nice. We're gonna go to our little guy in the middle here. Hit him with a couple, couple shanky boys. Getting some deeps. Head to our guy up here. Hit him with a good old 12 damage. And I'm just going to have him use this. This really doesn't matter who uses it. So let's end our turn there. Uh, opponent's turn. Wrong row, buddy. Come on. What you going to do? And here is where we end it. So we're going to switch to him. Have him use a strong lead. And you just want to finish this one off with a couple of little, little rush with a couple of little pokes. Let's go. Our first boss battle, guys. I really appreciate your viewership. Let's grab our card. Let's figure out what we got. That's a lot. Four. Uh, deal six damage X times for each Ruin card in your discard pile. Uh, we don't use Ruin cards. I don't like Ruin cards. I don't like when we make our own team bleed. This one gives us a Ruin card, but also deals eight damage and three bleed every time you play this card. The damage is increased by... We'll go with this. And let's see what we got here for armor. Starts with 14. Starts each combat with 24. I think this is going to be better than... And we're going to throw both these into our stash. I forgot that your stash items, only the weapons throw cards into your thing. So having that there is good. I'd like to replace this with the sword and a shield, if we're being honest. But cool. Let's move on. All right, guys. Oh, wait. Yes, 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 yes. Let's, let's hit this. Let's hit this. Uh, nobody's really that damaged. We're going with a level up, 100%. Uh, I think we level up the fox. Welcome to the... Do the fox or mouse? 
I think we level up the fox. Give him a, a warm welcome to the team. Uh, we're going to give him more in that. And let's see what type of passive we can get. Uh, I don't like the middle passive. Whenever this character kills an enemy with an attack, their maximum vitality is increased by three. Permanently? What? That seems stupid, OP. Oh, man. Oh, I'm excited to keep playing. But, guys, we will be calling that here. I really appreciate your viewership. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of this spicy content. Other than that, guys, I'll see all of you in that next video. Bye.